And welcome to your Go Market Update charts for all today. And it's the 9th of December. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. I've got lots of exciting things planned in preparation for Christmas. In the meantime, of course, let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. We had a positive session on Wall Street to snap a five straight day of losses on the S&P 500. All the major indices were to the upside. The Nasdaq outperformed up in excess of 1%. We're still getting recession fears kicking around as a market narrative. And we've got big data week next week. We've got uh, the US inflation numbers and the Fed's interest rate decision. US futures are slightly higher in early Asian action and Asian indices are following that US lead. Cautiously positive. ASX is up around 0.2% with material stocks outperforming along with uh, technology stocks aren't doing particularly bad either. European equity Futures are suggesting a near neutral open later, again starting to creep higher, so possibly up for a positive open in Europe also. US dollar index is lower again in his retesting five month lows. It is the underperforming currency in Asia, the US dollar index looking really very close to breaking support. On the back of that USD weakness, we are see, seeing gold test at the key 1800 level. Oil has paused its drop, which has happened throughout the week. It's at year-to-date lows. Next support around about $75 on the Brent crude CFD contract. Copper is higher. Looks as though it's heading towards $4. It's well above the 200 EMA now, trading around about $4.92 currently. And the VIX edged lower again on that equity strength. Remember, that's pretty close to three-month lows as well. Just a little pop-up earlier in the week. Bitcoin is still trading around 17000 Looks as though there may be just a little bit of buy-in, uh, testing to the upside in Asian trading this morning, but not uh, significantly so. Doesn't appear to be a lot of pressure there. Maybe just be repositioning. We've got Chinese CPI, which is due today. That's already out and has come in slightly softer than expected. Later, we have US PPI and consumer sentiment, which are going to be the headline acts later. A weaker US PPI would probably be positive for markets as we close the week. There may also be some short covering there in light of the fact that we've seen that succession of down days uh, throughout the early part of the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're actually going to start by looking at the Nasdaq. We're looking at a 30 minute chart. You can see the bounce off this key level at around about 11,400. Uh, and this is yesterday's action got stuck under this 11,660 level and having another pop at it in Asia. Uh, Plenty of upside here of around about 100 points to the next key level. Uh, so this could be one worth keeping an eye on. On the ASX, we talked about Evolution Mining yesterday. And with gold looking strong again, this could be looking good. Uh, yesterday's close represented a high close not seen since June. Uh, but we figured that perhaps a move over this 292 was probably a better move with that being the high of yesterday. So we're looking around $3 perhaps. Uh, with a plenty of upside, perhaps in excess of 10%, should it break that in the medium term. Obviously, this may de be dependent on how well or otherwise gold tackles that key 1800 level. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.